Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the November 2013 Grade 5-6 Contest, Question 14, which also came up in the Grade 7-8, 9-10, and 11-12 Contests. So, the question is, A mad professor has created a new kind of creature called a blorg. For each blorg, one hour after it is born, it gives birth to a new blorg. Two hours after it is born, it gives birth to two more new blorgs, and then it immediately dies. If the professor starts with one newborn blorg at noon, how many live blorgs does he have at 4.30 p.m. that afternoon? <clears throat> so the numbers at the top of this table represent the times. So 12 for noon, then 13 for 1 p.m., 2 p.m., and so on. And the numbers at the left side of the table represent the generations of blurgs, so the first generation of blurgs, second generation of blurgs, and so on. <clears throat> so what we want to know is the number of living blurgs at 4.30 p.m. So we know that that is after 4 p.m. and before 5 p.m. So we know that we can draw a line in between the 16 and the 17, which is a 4 and 5, because that is when we want to know how many living blurgs there are. Then, since we know that each blurg's life cycle is only two hours, we know that we can draw another line in between the 14 and the 15, which shows in between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m., because we know that all the blurgs that are born at 2 p.m., will die at 4 p.m., but that is no use to us because we want to know how many living blurgs there are at 4.30 p.m. So we will draw another line in between the 14 and the 15. So let's start from the beginning. So we know that a mad professor creates one blorg at noon. Then we know that this blorg gives birth to one blorg one hour later, and to two more blorgs two hours later. So this blorg is accounted for. Then this Borg gives birth to one Borg one hour later, and to two Borgs two hours later. And we know that this Borg is accounted for. Then we know that each of these two Borgs gives birth to one Borg one hour later, and to two Borgs two hours later. So two times two is four. So we know that these two blurgs are accounted for. Now moving on to this blurg. This blurg gives birth to one blurg one hour later, and gives birth to two blurgs two hours later. So we know that this blurg is accounted for. Then we know that each of these four blurgs gives birth to one blurg one hour later, so one, two, three, four, and to two more blurgs each two hours later. But we won't count that because that is after 4.30 p.m. and that will not be in this time zone. So we know that these four blurgs are accounted for. <clears throat> so we know that each of these four blurgs gives birth to one blurg one hour later and two blurgs each two hours later, but that is after 4.30, so we won't account for those. So these four blurgs are accounted for. Now, this blurg gives birth to one blurg one hour later and to two blurgs two hours later, but that is after 4.30. And these, each of these six blurgs gives birth to one blurg one hour later, two blurgs two hours later, but that is after 4.30. So these blurgs are accounted for. And this Borg gives birth to one Borg one hour later, two Borgs two hours later, 
and we will not count that. So we have all Glorg's accounted for. So now, since we wanted to count all the tallies up in between these two lines, we have 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, plus 6 is 15, plus 1 is 16. So we know that there will be 16 Glorg's living at 4.30 p.m. So, now I will show you a more general and elegant way to solve this problem and to find the same solution, which is more for analytically minded students and older students. Okay, so at any given time, there are two generations of Blorg, Blorgs. One generation of Blorgs is the child Blorg, which is all the Blorgs that are less than an hour old, and we will count the number of child Blorgs as C. Then the other generation of Blorgs is the parent Blorg, which is all the Blorgs that are more than an hour old, and we will count the number of parent Blorgs as P. So, since the number of child blurgs and parent blurgs depend on time, we will write an index beside both of these letters to show n hours after noon. So, for example, we will write 0 as the index beside each to show the number of child blurgs and the number of parent blurgs 0 hours after noon, which is just noon. <clears throat> So we know that the number of child blurgs at noon is 1 because the 1 blurg is created. And we know that there are 0 parent blurgs. So we want to find out what the number of child blurgs and parent blurgs are n hours after noon. So we will write them as cn for the number of child Borgs and hours after noon. And we will write PN to show the number of parent Borgs and hours after noon. Okay, so now we want to find out to, we want to find out the number of the child blurgs and the parent blurgs and how it changes from time from one hour to the next. So we will take the number of child blurgs and the number of parent blurgs in one hour. So we will write that as CN plus one, which will be the number of child blurgs in one hour. And we will write Pn plus 1 to show the number of parent blurgs in one hour. <clears throat> so what we want to find out is the number of child blurgs in one hour. So we know that now all of the child blurgs will give birth will give birth to one Borg in one hour. So we know that that will be CN. <clears throat> so we would have CN plus, we know that all of the parent Borgs now give birth to two more Borgs in one hour. So we will have plus two PN. And we know the number of parent Borgs in one hour is just the number of child Borgs right now. So that will be written as CN. So since we want to find out the number of living Borgs of a certain time, we will need to know all the, cer the child Borgs plus the number of parent Borgs. So since we already have it as CN plus 1, so the number of child Borgs in one hour, 
and the number of parent floor rugs in one hour, we will add them both together. So we will have CN plus 1 plus PN plus 1. So since we added up the left sides of these equations, we will now have to add up the right sides of these equations. So we would have CN plus CN, which is 2CN plus 2PN, so we can factor out the 2 to have 2 times CN plus PN. So this tells us that the number of living Blorgs doubles after every passing hour. So if we want to know the number of living Blorgs and hours after noon, we will then have CN plus PN And that will equal the initial number of living Blorgs, which we have as C0 plus P0. Doubled n times. So now what we have is 2 to the power of n times c0 plus p0. So since we want to know what, how many living Borgs there are at 4.30 p.m., we know that that is 4 hours and a bit after noon. So we would have n as 4, and that would equal 2 to the power of 4. And then we have times C0, which we have as 1, and plus P0, which is 0. So that would be 1 plus 0 is 1. So we have times 1. So 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So as you can see, we achieved the same answer as we did in this way to find the solution. So that means that you can use this formula... for this type of question and apply it to any number of hours and any initial number of child blurgs and parent blurgs. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.bronchi.ca slash caribou.